hello guys welcome back to my channel in this particular tutorial i'm going to be teaching us how to make a bow kimono so if you're looking at the picture you notice why i call it a bow kimono the side part is looking like a bow tie so that's why i call it a bow kimono so i'm going to be teaching us so i want you guys to make sure you focus make sure you watch video to the end because at the end of this particular tutorial you're going to learn how to cut and sew a bow kimono thanks and may god bless you please make sure you focus so if you haven't purchased our newly published book the perfect dress cutting guide which is going to guide you on how to cut any dress so make sure you comment in the comment section i'll try to put the link in the description so the first thing you have to do is to fold out and you sew the band which you have already prepared which i've to already told us the band is 2.5 inches by you know 106 inches which is the total length we calculated so next thing you need to do is to sew out the shoulder please use a normal way of sewing out the shoulder that is front to front sew it out with half an inch as you can see please do exactly the same thing on the other side fold it out are you seeing it place it yes front to front and make sure you sew it out yes that's what you need to do okay so as you guys can see we are done doing that next thing we need to do is to go and overlock the shoulder as you can see we are weaving it out please this is the best way for you to make a dress so as for it to come out like a ready to wear and look very very nice next thing i'm doing now is i'm top stitching it as you guys can see i'm taking my time to top stitch it yes it's very necessary now we are going to be fixing the band are you seeing it we are going to be fixing the band it's very simple for you to do that so for you to fix this band oh you look at how we fix it are you saying it okay for you to fix it remember i joined my um band so i have to get the midpoint of my dress the neck part of my dress are you seeing it i've placed it like this so i will get the midpoint and notch it please remember the band is also joined so we are going to be fixing it from the part which was actually joined are you seeing it we have gotten the midpoint of the back neck okay so now look at it look at how we're going to be joining are you seeing it the part that um yes fix it this way are you seeing it okay fix it this way face it this way are you seeing it okay face it this way that is front to front and make sure you sew from one side are you seeing it so from the middle down to the downside are you seeing it look at it we are taking our time to actually do this so when you are done doing this next thing you need to do is to place it again from the center down to the other side because i want you guys to know it is not hard for you to do so Please immediately you are done doing this next thing i want you to do is to go and they overlock it that is go and they wave it out then make sure you cut out the excess okay as you guys can see we are done um sewing it out so let's go and weave it out and overlock it that is what we are going to be doing so after that next thing you are going to do is to top stitch on top of it do you understand okay so please guys, i want you okay now look at it we have actually top stitched on top of it okay so now let's work on the side which is very very important please guys i want you to focus very very well please arrange it are you seeing it okay now make sure you turn the back part of it because that is how we are going to be sewing it use your pin and hold it use your pin and hold it now remember the opening part of the sleeve is 18 inches now make sure you mark it out 18 inches are you seeing it then after 18 inches what i want you to do is to go and they uh, mark out the hemming allowance for the dam which is 1.5 are you seeing it now mark out the slits which is 7 inches are you seeing it okay now as you guys can see we are going to be sewing from the 18 inches down to that point are you seeing it but before you do that always know that your body allowance is two inches so we are going to be sewing with respect to the two inches are you seeing it that is how we are going to be closing it guys so let's do that now make sure you mark out two inches here so from here we are going to be sewing down to the slit point so let's do that guys please when i'm done teaching us how to sew it i'm also going to teach you guys how to you know finish it very very are you seeing it make sure you backstitch now next thing you need to do is to open it up make sure you open it up now this is how we are going to be closing it are you seeing it this is how we are going to be closing it we are going to be sewing like this all the way down are you seeing it so first thing you need to do is to use your pin and hold it firm yes let me teach you guys how to use a pin to hold it it is not hard remember the body allowance is two inches make sure you, it is exactly two inches then you pin it this is what you are going to be doing always make sure it is exactly two inches then you pin it till you are done pinning it so guys are you seeing it look at it 
yes now we are done pinning now this is how to sew it place your material like this on the machine are you saying it place it like this on the machine please make sure you look at this very well if you didn't really don't understand make sure you, you rewatch the video are you seeing how i place the material okay so we are going to be sewing at the edge of the two inches now look at it now you have to turn it so as to continue sewing from the edge are you saying it? please take your time don't be in a rush so that's for you not to make a mistake So guys, if you have not bought our newly published book, The Perfect Dress Cutting Guide, which is going to teach you all you need to know on how to cut any dress. So guys, make sure you buy it. I'll try to put the link in the description and I will make sure that I answer all your questions. So if you have any questions, make sure you ask your question in the comment section. Thanks and may God bless you. So as you guys can see, we are done stitching it out. Are you seeing it? We are done stitching it out. Very simple. So this is exactly the same thing we are going to be doing at the slit part, guys. Now look at it. It's looking so neat and nice. Remember, we are still going to be ironing it. But I'm going to be doing that when we are done stitching everything, guys. Yes. So as not to waste our time. Okay. Now look at the slit part. Please do exactly the same thing here. Make sure you remove the pin. Then make sure you fold it out exactly two inches as you can see now let's use our tape to check whether it's up to two inches so we have two inches so take your pin and then pin it down guys okay do it on the both sides then i'm now going to be showing you now how to sew now look at how to sew it it's just very simple please anywhere you want to close a slit you can actually use this method it's very very simple now look at it so from this now when you reach at this point yes you now have to turn are you saying it okay this is just the same thing we did at the sleeve side okay so so it this way guys are you seeing it it's looking so nice okay so now that you are done next thing you need to do is to do exactly what you have done on this side on the other side do you understand then after that we are going to be folding out the damper that is the 1.5 inches for the hemming of the damper please remember what i said you have to do exactly the same thing on the other side now let's fold um out the down part which is the hemming part now as you guys can see i folded that 1.5 inches so i'm going to be sewing it please the same thing i do on this side the same thing i'm going to do on all the sides that is the damp part of on all the sides please just know that it is not hard rather it's very very simple for you to do if you have not subscribed to my channel make sure you do subscribe to my channel so as you guys can see we are done with the stitching so the next thing we are going to be doing is we are going to be ironing please just take your time to iron it is very very important as you guys can see i'm placing a material a high target material on top of it now the reason for this is because the high target material is a quality material it doesn't just get burned so easily so that's why i'm actually using it and also i don't want to stain my dress do you understand okay now we are going to be doing the bow effect design are you seeing it this is the part that we have already marked do you understand this is the part you guys already know how we marked this particular point do you understand so what we are going to be doing, we are going to be making an opening here so that's why i'm marking out like half inch here and half inch here please if you don't know how we got this point the initial point we've already please make sure you watch this video i got this point already so how did we even get this point we i got that point from when i was marking the sleeve i marked out 18 inches then i marked out another six inches that was how i got that point so in order to get the opening like i said create half inch on the other side then half inch on the other side then make sure you backstitch on both sides then i use the razor and open up a space this is very very simple make sure you watch this video so you guys can see we are making up a space we are backstitching yes i backstitch on one side i'm still going to backstitch on the other side do you understand okay please all i'm doing now is just to create a space because a space is needed in order for us to give out that bow effect on the kimono so you guys can see we are done with our kimono right now it's just the bow effect so i'm going to be opening up the space in between the two top stitching i've done in between the two back stitching i've done okay so you guys know the reason why i did the back stitching was just to make sure that the opening doesn't op keep losing from there as you've seen it we now have an opening please do exactly the same thing on the other side are you seeing it right now so let's form the bow effect now look at it from the slit point start folding this way it is very very simple are you seeing it one two fold and grab three 
four, five. Are you saying it? Okay. Now, next thing you need to do is to use your needle and thread, hand needle and thread, and sew it out just to hold it firm. Then I'm now going to show you us how to use a stripe to tie it like a bow tie. Now, take your time and sew it out as you guys can see. Okay. So, after you are done, all you need to do is to take your scissors and then cut off the thread. Do you guys understand? Take your scissors and cut off the thread. Now, let me show you guys how to... Are you seeing it? It's coming out so fine. But um, for the sake of this particular tutorial, we still need to tie it with a stripe. Now, look at it. I cut out a stripe with the material. Are you seeing? The material is so good that uh, I don't need to sew it again. Now, from the... Now, look at what I'm doing. From the slit, I'm going to be putting this thing in towards the hole. Are you seeing it? Which we created the opening, which we created, and the other one is going by the slit side. Now I've done it. Are you seeing it? So I'm going to be tying it from the back. Yes, please, you can either tie or sew it out. But I chose to tie it out because I needed a very, very tight effect. Now, as you guys can see, the muzzle, the strength which I'm using to tie it, that's to show you guys that I actually tied it very, very tight. Yes. I try to tie it very very tight so when you finish tying it you can also use a kind of light to hold it firm you understand or fire whichever so i'm not cutting it out guys are you saying it's looking so neat so at the end of the day we are done with our kimono with a bow tie effect yes or with a bow effect so thanks and may god bless you guys um for watching this particular tutorial and i hope you practice it when you're done practicing it please make sure you let me know or make sure you use my whatsapp number to send your own pictures thanks and may god bless like i said guys if you've not bought our newly published book please do make sure you buy it the name of the book is the perfect dress cutting guide guys Welcome to the Perfect Dress Cutting Guide, a masterclass from C Fashion Academy in dressmaking with detailed instructions and expert advice. Embark on this journey to create your own piece. Unearth the enigmatic secrets of flawless dress cutting techniques. Imbue charm with your personal touch and unique creations, captivating undivided attention. Get bonus content from renowned fashion designers inside this guide. Your craft to rival professional designs. Access the perfect dress cutting guide anytime, anywhere. Discover a world of fashion at your fingertips. Just a click away, your dreams await. Get an early bird discount on the perfect dress cutting guide. Embrace creativity, elegance, step into a world of creativity and elegance. Unleash your sewing prowess, harness your creativity, ignite your imagination, design, stitch and craft. Make something extraordinary. WhatsApp us now for yours, plus 2347030445028. God bless you all.